The nation's ruling party, government ministries, and officials from the presidential office met for the first time since the local elections, devising ways to improve people's lives and formulating follow-up measures to the recent inter-Korean summits were the key topics. Kim Min-ji shares with us what was discussed. The landslide victory for the ruling Democratic Party of Korea is a show of the public's request that the party and the government work to improve their livelihoods. That was a consensus among senior ruling party lawmakers and top officials from government ministries and the presidential office, who said Wednesday that all efforts will now be directed at bettering people's lives. The outcome of the local elections is a call for establishing lasting peace on the peninsula and taking care of the people's lives. We will thoroughly abide by those demands. We will work to show that the people made the right decision. To get started, officials have decided to give a little bit of flexibility to the introduction of shorter working hours starting next month to minimize any fallout. Firms with 300 or more workers would have had to reduce their employees' maximum weekly working hours from the current 68 hours to 52 hours from July 1st, but will now have a grace period of six months. The change was made as part of the government's drive to improve work-life balance. The amendment to the law came very quickly, and there hasn't been much time to prepare for the change. Although it's hard to adjust the starting time of the implementation, there is need to set a grace period for a soft landing. The government also plans to announce a set of customized support and job creation measures for people depending on their income level. The Moon Jae-in administration has been pushing for so-called income-led growth, which consists of creating a virtuous cycle of increased household income and spending. As for the controversy surrounding a recent amendment to the Minimum Wage Act, the meeting's participants noted the importance of informing the public of any planned policies and their effects so that they can win their support and understanding. Some have argued that the revision, which calls for an inclusion of bonuses and other benefits of a certain size as part of the minimum wage, undermines the pay hike. The presidential policy office will work around three goals, being swift in implementing policies, making sure policies have the desired impact, and making sure people feel the effects of policies. The officials also made clear the need to swiftly implement follow-up measures in light of the recent developments on the Korean peninsula, such as carrying out economic cooperation, family reunions, and joint participation in sporting events. The ruling party also said that they will call on opposition parties for their cooperation to ratify the Inter-Korean Summit Declaration or at least adopt a resolution that supports it. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.